Hey guys, Spirit of the Greek here. Just wanted to uh, make a quick video about the tools that I take with me on a service call. Just took most of my tools out from my uh, tool bag to show everyone. Uh, this is a tool bag that is a book bag with a lot of pockets. Okay, and the brand of this tool bag is CLC, which stands for Cutham uh, Leather Craft. And let me just show you what it looks like. Looks like an ordinary tool ba uh, book bag, but it's designed for tools. Comes in very handy. I like this tool bag a lot because there's a lot of different compartments and stuff like that. But let me show you some of the tool the tools that I bring with me every day on every single service call that I go to. Got my uh, seven nut drivers ranging from quarter inch, wholly up to half inch. I also got my uh, assorted of uh, flatheads, uh, nut drivers. Um, the little screwdrivers, the little flatheads, my mini, my mini adjustable. Even though this thing's really small, this thing has saved me time and time again. Another tool that I made, I made this over three years ago, is a set of cheetah cords. For a cheetah cord. And for what those of you who don't know what a cheetah cord is, it's pretty much like um, it's like an, it's not an extension cord. It's like an extension cord, but it lets you hook up power. To get power from a disconnect in case there's no outlet. To make a cheetah cord, all you need is like an SJO cord, a 14 by 3 conductor or 12 by 3 conductor. And after that, you know, cut it to a couple of feet, whatever your preference is. Well, this one's only a couple of feet long. After that, you cut one, you splice one end and you hook up a, fe a female uh, plug on one end. And on the other end, you pretty much do the same thing. You splice and you buy three alligator clips. Okay, you know, you know, your black is your hot, your white is your neutral, and your green is your ground. Now, if you're working on a three-phase 208 uh, system and you only need a 110 volt, you know, you hook up uh, the black to one of the legs on the disconnect, and the white, which is the neutral, to ground, and you leave the green ground here. Leave that alone. Uh, let's say you need 220 volts. Obviously, you know, you take your black, hook it up to one leg. You know, you take your white, you hook it up to another leg, and you take your green, which is your ground, and hook it up to ground, and you've got 220. Very easy to make. Took me, I would say, less than 10 minutes to make one of these. You know, definitely something you should have if you're always working on, like, rooftop units or AC units, and you need power for your vacuum pump, or if you have to charge up your cordless tools, like your cordless drill, your cordless saw, something very handy to have. Okay, moving along. These are the tools I take with me every day, like I said. Got my cable cutter, my snips, my channel locks, my linemans, my needle nose, my wire strippers, my Allen keys. And the green one is Allen keys, but on the on the end of each uh, Allen key, it's actually it's a different bit. It's like the T10, T15, and up. I always have with me Teflon tape, gas Teflon tape, black electrical tape and white electrical tape but this white electrical tape is different because it's uh it's rated for high temperature so if you're working on like commercial cooking equipment or areas that get really really hot you should use this tape because this tape does not melt like the black electrical tape my big adjustable my small adjustable my tubing cutters my striker for my acetylene or oxyacetylene my service wrenches one's a regular one's an angle one because sometimes I can't use the regular one because of a weird like position that the unit is uh, compressors in my hammer in case you know customers get out of line just kidding uh, caliber caliper over here to measure pulleys or belts my really really small adjustable you know this thing is small this thing has saved me time and time again four-way water valve in case uh, you're working on a unit and you got to clean coils and there's a water speaker but there's no um, uh, gate valve on it something very very handy to have one of my favorite tools is a capillary tube cutter in case you're changing out a cap tube and when you're putting a new cap tube in you got to cut the cap tube to length unlike other people you know they use their linings or the wire strippers and after they cut it you know, even though they cut the capillary tube, it's, uh, it collapses the end of it. This one right here I bought at my local Johnstone a couple of years ago. Every time I use this to cut a capillary tube, this thing cuts it perfectly. No collapse end. 
my flashlight right here, twenty dollar flashlight from Home Depot. But even though this is a twenty dollar flashlight, this thing works better than the hundred dollar flashlights that you see at like Granger or your mom and pa hardware stores. Twenty dollars. Show you real quick how bright it is. Only twenty bucks. Couldn't believe it. Got my multimeter, my fill piece SC77. Like this meter a lot because you know it does voltage, uh, amperage, microfarads, temperature. Uh, you know, continuity, ohm, everything out, you know. And I like it because it has the type K connection inside, you know. When you have your uh, pipe clamp, you know, to take your superheat, your subcooling, goes right in there, perfect. In my previous video, I showed you I have uh, another meter that I keep spare in my van at all times in case this meter fails. But sometimes I got to, when I put like a, a brand new um, a blower motor for an evaporator, you know, and I want to check the amperage. I can't check it with this and have the panel all, uh, closed. So I take my other meter, put the amp over around one of the lead, one of the lines. Then I put the panel on, you know, so my amperage, I get a correct reading. But this is still a really good meter, nevertheless. And I like this meter because, let's say you're working in dark areas. The back of it lights up, which is great. Sandpaper, tape measure, uh, a level, uh, and something that I always bring with me at all times, wire ties. You wouldn't believe how many times this thing comes in handy whenever you're rewiring a unit or whatever. These things make everything neater. You know, I always go on service calls where the wiring looks like a ball of spaghetti, and it's just a pet peeve of mine. I can't, I can't leave a unit sloppy. It has to, everything has to be neat, you know. I do take pride in my work. Let me show you what I have down here. Automotive fittings, you know, in case I got to charge up my uh, air conditioner in my car or my friend's cars. You know, they sell these at any supply house, Johnstone, United. You know, this end screws, uh, uh, screws onto any of your um, uh, hoses on your gauge. And these hook up to uh, the ports on your car. These ones are snap-on, okay? And for anyone that doesn't know anything about cars, any car from 90 no, 94 and below uses R12. So any car from 94 below uses R12 and still has the screw on. So if you're working on a car from 94 and below, if you don't need these, you can use your uh, hoses on your gauge manifold and screw right on. But any car uh, 95 and above, they switch to the quick, uh, quick disconnect. So you're going to need these. You know, these are... Uh, another set of um, uh, valves, uh, sometimes your regular um, uh, gauges, the hoses, they can't screw into the port because there's something in the way. So these are kind of like an angle. So these things come in handy once in a blue moon, but you know me, I never like to go on the service call and get caught without a tool that I need. This right here, guys, I really recommend you get. This is like an adapter. Let's say you guys need water, you're running a hose to clean a unit or whatever, and there's no water spigot, you know, this screws onto almost any sink. One end, you know, this end, let's say, screws onto the sink, and the bottom end, you can screw onto your hose, your garden hose. This thing is really good to have in case there's no regular garden spout, uh, spout out there. You should really get this. Also, one of my favorite tools. I call them speedy wrenches, you know, the open end wrenches on one end and the other end, you know, they're, they're a ratchet, you know, and with these sets, you know, you set this way, you know, to, um, uh, you know, for, um, uh, to tighten them up, and if you want to loosen them, you just simply flip them over, got my alligator clips, you know, if I want to test something out. I always keep a roll of um, uh, 12 gauge wiring in case I got to fix something really quick. Guys, very important to have, always have jumper clips in case you have to jump something out just to test something. I always keep five to six jumper um, uh, jumpers with me. Very, very important thing to have. These right here are the 410A fittings. You know, you can't use your regular hoses to hook up to 410A. You need special valves on them. You know, uh, Johnson sells them. Part number is H26660. And the last thing before I run out of time is my box of screws. You know, I always keep like wire nuts, different valves, I mean, slip-on connectors. Alright guys, thank